uh, as somebody rightly said, we started with uh, carbovage. Okay? Other points are Okay, any questions in carbovage? To be more precise, uh, we started with. Uh, no, no. See, to be more precise, uh, we started with carbons. And a, a quick revision of what we did, we spoke of carbons. If you remember, uh, we spoke of uh, generalities of carbons in the first class. And then uh, we discussed the carbons that you have in your uh, syllabus in detail. Okay? So, which are the carbons that we discussed? We discussed creosote, yes. Graphites, carbovates. Okay. The other carbon that is left is what we will try to explore. See, as a tradition, for third year students, you know, we are trying to enter the class with a case. Okay. Now, the idea of getting case is you will understand the remedy better. That is one possibility. And the second possibility is what you theoretically learn in the classroom. I am trying to explain with cases that these theoretical classes that you study can be applied in reality in your practice. That is what I am trying to highlight. Okay. So if you remember the creosote case, we spoke of a gentleman with uh, eruptions. Okay. And what was the feeling he had? Yeah, I mean, he had a feeling that there is no use taking any more remedies, any more medicines. Let me die. Now, practically we converted this into death desires. What was the rubric? Very good. Death desires, despair from. He was hopeless. He was hopeless of cure and he felt, and he felt it's better I die. That was creosote, okay? And of course, we also spoke of graphites, we spoke of carbovates, okay? Now, I'll just share two simple cases for you. And from this case, we'll try to enter into the uh, class, meaning into the remedy. A uh, few years back, I had a patient. Uh, she should be some 58, 60 years old lady, okay? She had eruptions here. And these eruptions were more of uh, vesicular eruptions. Now, what do you understand by a vesicle? Fluid. Yeah, an eruption which is filled with fluid. This area, what eruptions can you expect or what is it? Herpes. Very good, good, good. Yeah, before you change your diagnosis. Good, herpes. So, she was diagnosed with herpes. Thus, and she was taken to one of the biggest hospitals in Bangalore. And they had given her some antiviral. They have their own... Uh, a protocol that had given us some medicines and uh, it, her daughter is my patient so in the evening she got her to me and uh, she told sir my uh, mother she's got herpes and one uh, uh, you know uh, different symptom that I noticed is after she is diagnosed with herpes she has told she like you know uh, this jewelry belongs to you and this house will be your brother's Okay, and this will be uh, this will be taken care of by your uh, uh, younger sister, and she started uh, dividing her uh, property. Okay, now what is it that you understand from this particular case? Settlement of properties. Okay, very good. Uh, Madhu is very quick. So what is he trying to tell you is what is she trying to do? She is trying to settle her property. Done. Okay. Anything else you can think beyond? Beautiful. Good observation. Who's that? Good. Okay, what is it? Because you know, few of you are displaced, I don't know. And I'm using this, so I have confusion with direction. Which is the remedy which has confusion with direction? That's, uh, see, coincidentally, that is also a carbo. Coincidentally. And that is carbo animalis, which you'll be studying in the next year. So in carbo animalis, they will not know the direction of the song. For example, Aishwarya spoke from there. And I thought the voice is coming from somewhere else. So when they have confusion of voice, they are not able to understand from which direction the voice is coming. Then it is carbo animalis. Coincidentally, I told you it's say carbo. Okay. Good. What is it that you want to tell? She feels that her death is nearing. Very good. So you're getting my point? Beautiful. See, so that's what I keep 
telling you time and again, when I was a third year student, I would not interpret the way you girls and boys are interpreting. So that's where I feel you have a great future. Okay, take this compliment very strongly and don't get carried away. Then, so two beautiful inputs. One is that somebody is trying to settle the property and in the background, why is she getting that thought that I want to settle the properties because she feels, she feels I am going to die. Will anybody die because of her pace? You know, I know. But with respect to the patient, that is her thought process. I asked her the same thing. See, doctor told she is acting weird. She is writing all her, I mean, not writing, she is overly telling, you take this, you take that. But what is it as a homeopath you need to understand? You need to understand why this lady is having this thought process. What is making her think, you know, that you have to distribute the property. You have to distribute the property. Now that is a very, very, very important thing. Okay. So, uh, going ahead, I have a remedy that I will be discussing, which has this particular symptom. And I will tell you what happened after uh, the remedy was prescribed. Okay. One case. I had another case, a beautiful case, of a gentleman with a swelling over his uh, leg. Beautiful case. And you know, when this swelling came up, again, the elderly man, 60 plus, he started, uh, you know, calling his son from abroad and he told, this house you keep, give your sister this, give your, uh, I mean, my grandson will get this much, they will get this much and etc, etc. It has been almost four years now. He was given the remedy that I am discussing now. He is hale and healthy. Fine, four years. But it was like he was writing his will. Tomorrow is my last day, I am going to die. And you know, you take this property, that property now. So two cases that I am sharing with you has something in common. What is that they have something in common? They feel that they are going to die. And they want to they want to settle the affairs. So this is how beautifully it is mentioned in this book. In the book, in your Materia Medica, about the remedy I am going to discuss. Hope I am clear. Okay. So you know the remedy that I am going to talk. Now what is that remedy? Today I did not have time to prepare PPT, so we will use, uh, yeah, traditionally black, but we will be using the whiteboard. Okay. So the remedy I am going to discuss today, Yes, petroleum. There is no fun. Okay, anyway, petroleum. Done? So, petroleum mine, we will try to explore a little later. So, what is it that I was trying to tell you is, again, under mind, I will explain. Just focus, concentrate. See, this is how patients will come and tell you. Done? And I told you, both of them are hale and healthy. After our medicines, they are living. They did not, they did not die. Okay? Now the kids got the property. Must be kids may be a little uh, uh, unhappy with us, but you know, I mean, I mean, uh, don't take it very serious. Very nice kids, that's why they got the parents to us, because they were genuinely concerned about their parents, that's why they got uh, the parents for the treatment. Okay. Anyway, what I was trying to tell you is, the last carbon that is mentioned in your syllabus, third year syllabus is petroleum. So next few minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, based on the interaction, okay, we will try to explore petroleum. Petroleum you all know, what is petroleum? Okay, I mean, yeah, it is used in, this is the crude oil, okay, and uh, uh, you know, petroleum being used in lot of things. Where is petroleum used? Petroleum is used in uh, Vaseline, okay, etc, etc. So, what also quickly comes to our mind, if you look into petroleum, if you look into the uh, old literature, when you look at the medicinal properties of petroleum, before Dr. Honeyman, before Dr. Honeyman proved petroleum, before Dr. Honeyman uh, proved petroleum, you know, it was used in olden days for skin affections, okay. So the basic or the primary area of petroleum is skin, 
it may affect skin. And if you again slowly reflect back, majority of the carbons that we have understood, let it be creosote, let it be carbovase, let it be graphite. All these remedies, they have a predominant action on the skin. Fine? Okay? So even this particular remedy acts on skin, first point. Second thing, you see this acting on the mucous membrane, I'll explain this. You also see this acting on the lymphatics. Okay? So acting on skin, this mainly causes eruptions. Eruptions, eruptions, cracks, dryness, to be more precise, it mainly causes dryness, eruptions and cracks. When we talk about skin in detail, we will try to explore, meaning what are all those things that can happen in skin, first point. Second thing, mucous membrane. See, mucous membrane here, I am making it simple, we are focusing on two areas, GI and respiratory. Gastrointestinal tract and respiratory tract is where you see this particular remedy predominantly acting. Okay? And the last area is lymphatics. Lymphatics. It, it causes offensive discharges. It acts on the lymphatics and it will cause offensive discharges. You will be seeing under the drug picture of petroleum, that petroleum will cause offensive foot sweat. The discharges in petroleum are offensive. It's because of this action. Okay? So three areas predominantly we are focusing. And I, I will be highlighting more of skin under petroleum. More of skin under petroleum. Okay? So this is the sphere of action and uh, when you look at the ailments from when you look at the causative factors, the ailments. So what are all the ailments? What are all the ailments? See, I'll just uh, slowly write down. See, one thing is riding. So this, is, this can be riding in carriage, riding in bus, riding in car, ship, ship, train. So what you basically have here is Petroleum is a very good remedy for motion. motion sickness. Good. It's a very good remedy for motion sickness. First point. And second thing, you also have uh, some mental causative factors here. Like you have uh, vexation. Okay. And third, you have uh, suppressed eruptions. Suppressed eruptions. And continuing further, we have uh, huh? cabbage. Cabbage. Complaints which comes from eating cabbage. Okay? And complaints from spring. Complaints from spring. Hmm? So when you are looking at the ailments from, you have uh, a riding and the riding could be, I told you, it could be car, bus, road, train, water, any mode of the transportation. Probably even here, any mode of, uh, during those times I don't know, but probably any of these mode of transportation, they have issues, traveling sickness, okay, motion sickness. Better remedies for motion sickness? Coculus. Very good, coculus. It's not at over, somebody will be talking to you about coculus in next year. But as a homeopathic student, you should have that itch, itch for knowledge, itch to know. Okay, so coculus, any other remedies? Tobacco. Very good, tobacco. Tobacco more of? Tobacco more of? More of ship, sea sickness. Sea sickness. Coculus, tobacco, any other remedy? Nitric acid. Nitric acid. Nitric acid. Huh? Nitric acid. Nitric acid. Chalo. You also have to remember petroleum. You also have to remember petroleum. Okay. Suppress eruptions, we have many remedies. Graphites, calcarea, silicia, hepar. So even petroleum has suppressed eruptions. We will see what exactly will happen in petroleum. Okay? In petroleum, you will see more of diarrhea. Because of suppressed eruptions, they will have more of diarrhea. Okay? 
and you also have what cabbage what do you think cabbage will cost gastric. okay gastric in general diarrhea in particular diarrhea in particular okay and ailments from sprain for example you know uh, the connective tissue uh, the ligaments the tendons they can go into injury there can be sprain very important okay Uh, quickly, any other remedies for sprain? Ruta. Ruta, then Arnica. Ruta, Arnica, Restox. See, I mean, don't uh, give all the injury remedies. Huh? I mean, generally what happens when somebody is talking about Ruta and Restox, you get tempted. Oh, must be, they are talking about Ruta and Restox, so let me also contribute. Hypericum. Okay. But please go back to the question, and please understand where or when one prescribes hypericum. No. Okay? No. Yeah. So you should have that clarity. For example, sprain. Okay. But when you have the nerves getting involved, if you have read Kent's, what Kent says, crush injuries. He says, unfortunately, your finger is in between the door window and it uh, gets crushed and what is this area the rich of very good beautiful the rich of no supply he says injury to spine so what should be your focus as a third year student is when you have a rich no supply and that area you have an injury that's when hypericum should come into your picture okay so here we are talking of sprain we are talking of for the connective tissues getting injured so restox will be a better remedy fine uh, ruta can be thought of uh, you missed a remedy a remedy for injuries of tendon which was done very recently okay good something better i i know i, I use the word recently don't tell me cargo wedge don't tell me graphites don't tell me creosote don't tell me creosote okay so A remedy for uh, injury of tendons uh, will be anacardium. Anacardium, as if you don't know. The remedy for injuries of tendons will be anacardium. Okay, hmm? anacardium. That. So we did anacardium. If I am right. And what is the hallmark of anacardium? It will come up in petroleum also. But I had a case recently, an elderly lady, you know. Must be around uh, early 70s. She had bad pain, okay, and uh, only if she eats, she feels better. Two things will come up here. What are those two things? What are those two things? Very good. One is, as a third year student, the diagnosis. The diagnosis is duodenal ulcer. And second thing is, as a homeopathic student. See, if. It is a prone case of duodenal ulcer. Then, then anacardium has no role to play. This is the clarity I want to give you. You are you are with me. You are trained to understand why anacardium has no role to play. Beautiful. So, so in ana in duodenal ulcer, in duodenal ulcer, like you now eating amylates is a common symptom. Then, so you should be a little careful. If you have to prescribe anacardium, okay. So we'll we'll go ahead. We'll try to understand further. So what I am trying to tell you here is, here is anacardium. Must be you all remember it's a beautiful remedy for amelioration eating. But you should also know anacardium has injuries related to tendons. Injuries related to tendons. Okay. So going further, what you also need to understand here is. Here is like uh, we are talking of sprain, ailments from ailments from sprains. We will quickly look at the mind of petroleum. To make things easy, I am focusing on the mentals. I am focusing on the skin predominantly, and will focus on the mucous membrane, the GI. This is where I am in mean, uh, petroleum predominant lacks. Okay, so looking at the mind of uh, mind of petroleum. What could be the probable mentors of uh, petroleum? 
just take a minute, don't be in a hurry, think and answer. What could be the probable mental symptoms of Tertullian? When I say think and answer, I have something, meaning, what is Tertullian? Carbon. So what are all the generalities of carbon? Okay, good. You are getting my point? I am giving you a clue. What could be the probable mental symptoms of petroleum? This being a carbon, so what you typically see is, they are basically very timid. Okay? If you are looking at the Suric petroleum, they are very very timid. Timid, insecure, lack of confidence, want of confidence, irresolute. These are few symptoms to start with. Okay? As you see, as the pathology progress, you will see a lot of other things coming up. Slowness, confusion. Okay? What are they confused about? Okay, I mean we spoke of irresolute. Irresolute is, they are not able to decide. Indecisive. Indecisiveness could be because of confusion also. One of the reasons. Okay. But basically what are they confused is, they are confused about uh, the streets. Okay. They will be in middle of the road and they will be confused. Which direction should I go? You are getting the point? Hmm? See, this is how people will tell. You might be laughing now as a third year student. What sir, what are you telling? Even when we were third year students, we were laughing. Which patient will come and tell? I am in between the road, I am in the middle of the road, I am confused. But trust me, with patience, with practice, what we also seen is, like you know, you get all these constitutions coming to your clinic. Yesterday there was a lady who was telling, I am just justifying that these things are possible in your practice tomorrow. There was, uh, you know, one of the patients telling, Sir, uh, my husband has, uh, uh, you know, 25 to 30 times he has come to my place. But every time when we are going from uh, my husband's place to my place, he either takes one left before or he takes one left ahead or he takes a right turn this side, right turn that side. So what is this? So he is confused about the directions. Okay? Or is, see, there is one more thing. Is it confusion or is it something be, uh, beyond? What is that beyond? What is he doing here? So instead of the next left, he is taking the previous left or a left ahead. So see, what happens if it is confused? You need to understand because there is one more rubric that will come up. Is it confusion? No. See, what happens if it is confusion? He will stop and he will think, are you in the left or this left or next left? But when you, when you are taking a left already, so this is not confusion. So what is this? Mistakes mix. Mistakes mix. He is making a mistake. He is making a mistake. So rightly said, when you are confused, you will be stopping there now and you will be scratching your head. This left, that left. Okay. So there will be a pause. You will be thinking. When you have already gone ahead or when you have gone behind, you take a wrong route. Then that is mistakes mix. Clear? See, this is how they come to you in your clinic. Trust me. This is how they come. I have seen. I have seen. They come. You may not see every patient coming to you and telling, Sir, I am confused. Confusion is a very broad rubric. Under that you have a lot of sub rubrics. So what will be your next question? What are you confused about? Okay. If you are confused about streets, one remedy could be petroleum. Okay. If you are confused about something else, if you are confused about simple, simple things, small things, it can be a different remedy. So, we will get back to petroleum, let me not confuse you too much. But what I am trying to tell you here is, here is, whatever is told in Materia Medica books are proved on human beings. So trust your system, trust your subject, they are definitely going to come. Fine? Right? They are going to come. And when they come, you should know what is confusion, what is mistakes makes. At that point of time, we will be confused and we will make mistakes. Then, because there is no clarity. Okay. So for you, if you should not be confused tomorrow, you need to understand things today.
and now. Okay? Some issues there? All fine? Clear? Okay. So, we'll get back. We'll get back. So, what I was trying to tell you here is, like this is a remedy which has confusion and I made it very clear the confusion is mainly when it comes to street. Street. Okay? They're confused which way to go. That could be petroleum. Hmm? Moving ahead, you got a lot of other things in petroleum. I told you about one very important thing. What is that? Which we just spoke. Two small cases I gave you. What was that symptom? So, what is this feeling that I am going to die? What is this feeling? No, no. What is this feeling that I am going to die? One second. I will just share a small case again. I will uh, share a case. When I do it sepia, it's a beautiful case of a bed sore. I have been insisting, I have told you in many videos, I am going to share that. Must be next class, we will take up sepia, a beautiful remedy. So what I was trying to tell you is, we had a lady with uh, bed sores. Okay? A huge bed sore in the uh, coccyx, that area. And uh, she was telling the uh, daughter, next year I will not be there. Next year I will not be there. What is it? Huh? No, no, next year. See, she did not tell, because of this, next year I am not there. Okay, what is she trying to tell you? Next year, I will not tell next year. She did not tell, I am going to die now. She did not tell, see, it is 7 o'clock now, tomorrow, 8 o'clock, I am going to die. Which is that remedy? Akone. There are 8 remedies. What is the rubric? Predicts, predicts the time and time of death. That is Akonet. So here she did not tell I am going to die tomorrow. What is she trying to tell? I may not live next year. I may not live till next year. Understand the statement given by the mother. What comes to your mind as a third year student? What comes to your mind? What is this? See, this is a feeling. This is a thought. This is an intuition. Okay, this is only a thought. This is a feeling that next year I am not going to live. Okay, now this is what we call it as pre-sentiment. Okay, pre-sentiment, pre-sentiment. Don't split it, pre-sentiment, it's a different thing. Pre-sentiment. So there is a rubric, death pre-sentiment of. What is it? What is he trying to uh, uh, tell? Or what is he trying to, uh, what is her intuition? Our intuition is about her death. Okay, so this is death presentiment of. Remember a very beautiful uh, rubric. I am introducing rubrics very early to you because I know your capacity. With that positive thought, I am starting with rubrics. Generally, I do it for five years. Okay, but you should know. Death presentiment of. So in death presentiment of, how is the person coming and telling you? So there is a, there is a feeling, there is a gut feeling, there is an intuition, I am not going to live. See, it may come true, it may not come true, that is secondary. In Akonet person, what will he tell? Sir, tomorrow 8 o'clock I will die. He may not die. But that is his feeling. So here, in the two cases I told you, what was their feeling? That I am suffering with some disease and I may not live. So before I die, let me settle everything. You are able to relate those cases now? Yes. Sir, I have a disease. What is the disease? Herpes. And what is the thought process I have? I might die. And you know, I don't want any problems with my children tomorrow. So I am writing all the things and keeping it. Or I am just calling all of them and telling them, see you take this, you take that. So death presentiment of settles, wants to settle an affair is the rubric. And the only remedy mentioned is petroleum. So tomorrow you get somebody like this. It is only homeopathy. It is only and only homeopathy which can which can do wonders. I told you both the cases. That lady too is almost six years now. That herpes. This gentleman with a tumor is almost four years plus now. They are absolutely healthy and healthy. That that is the magic of homeopathy. Okay. Yeah. So death presentiment of is what I want to try to mention here. Hmm? I'll tell you Sepia, I'll tell you other remedies in the next class. We'll try to compare. But in today's class, today's class, confusion, okay, and uh, 
irresolute, timid. We also spoke of uh, uh, what is this death presentiment, presentiment of. And one more very important thing in petroleum is confused. When he gets up now in the morning, he does not know where he is. I have uh, two cases to share here. Two women, you know, who had this thing. Sir, I am in my own house, my own bedroom, on my bed. But when I get up, you know, every day morning when I get up, I am confused. What are you confused about? Sir, where am I? Where am I? 50 years, 45 years you are in the same room, same house, but every day morning you get up with a confusion. Where I am? Again, that is petroleum. That is petroleum. Done? So petroleum has confusion. Petroleum has death presentiment of. Another very important thing in petroleum is delusions. Some fixed thoughts. So what are those fixed thoughts? What are those fixed thoughts? Is the person feels when he is lying on one side is a different person. When he is lying on the other side is a different person. What is this? Beautiful duality. Sense of duality. Sense of duality. One side is a different person. Other side is a different person. That's a symptom. And one more symptom is he's got three legs. What is this? It is a delusion. Don't be shocked. That's why I told you it's a delusion. He feels he has got three legs. Okay? And a mother, a young mother who has delivered immediately, she has delivered one child. But she feels she has given birth to twins. And how will I manage both the kids? These are the delusions that you have in petroleum. Okay? See, petroleum many times is a very neglected remedy. You know why it is neglected remedy? Because we limit only to skin. And I want to break that tradition that petroleum is not the only remedy or the remedy which acts only on skin. It's got a wider action. Many of the mental symptoms I have confirmed in my clinical practice. The death presentiment of the confusion. Unfortunately, I am yet to see the delusions coming to my clinic. They might come in future, but you need to be ready. Okay, you need to be ready with the knowledge. Hmm? So, can we quickly recall all the mental symptoms mentioned? And then we can, we'll try to go ahead. Okay, so, yes, very good. So, the basic carbon character, that timidity, that uh, irresolute, fine, and uh, confidence won't off. Okay, and slowly as you see, you know, they can go into memory weakness, slowness, and this can also give rise to confusion. What is that confusion? Confusion about directions. He is in the middle of the road, and he does not know which side to go. That's a possibility. And confused on waking. Does not know where I am. My kaha ho. Okay? This statement in Hindi movies we see. But you know the scenario. Something would have happened before that. In this lady, what is happening? Night she goes to her own bedroom. She is sleeping on her own uh, uh, bed. Okay? And morning she gets up and she feels, where am I? Okay. So that is, that is petrol. Hmm? And uh, moving ahead, we also saw the other things that, you know, presentiment of death, very important. Don't, don't, see, whenever somebody is talking of death, whenever somebody, some patient is talking of death, sir, let me die, or I am going to die. I feel like dying. For me, for a homeopath, it's a very, very important symptom. Why? Syphilis. Syphilis. Syphilis, beautiful, good. Syphilis. We are here with a motto, we have to live. Everybody will die, I don't deny. But you asking for death is a very dangerous thing. And when somebody is asking for death, when somebody wants to kill themselves, that is syphilitic. That has to be given utmost importance. And when you start treating them, what is the uh, follow-up criteria? Death feeling should go. Beautiful. Death feeling should go. I'll share a video in the next class. I'll share a video. Uh, when we do sepia, I'll, I'll share. What happened to a lady after uh, after giving sepia? We'll discuss. We'll get back. So this is the mind, mind of petroleum. Uh, like many carbons, 
You also see pet, uh, petroleum mentioned under uh, what is that? This cocoa. What was the syphilitic symptom of graphites? What is the syphilitic symptom of graphites? Uh, who's the, who was that? Manish. Very good. Manish. What is manish? What is manish? We discussed this. A female may be like a male. Many carbons are manish. Carbobase, petroleum, natrium, platina. Okay? They are all manish. Right? So this is the mind. Now we will quickly look at uh, the head to toe. And head to toe focusing on the skin. Okay? So what do you expect on the scalp? First, you can start answering now. Scalp. Very good. Eruptions. Eruptions. Dandruff. Good. Hair fog. Alopecia. See now, this is how you have to remember and this is how you will be writing in your exams. Very easy. They will not ask you mind symptoms of petroleum. Mind symptoms is not important for your theory. But mind symptoms is important for your practice. Practice. Done? It's very important in your practice. But what will come up in petroleum for a third year student in your exams is skin. Skin. So under skin, what you mainly see is scalp. This is how you'll be writing. You write this pair of action and then from head to toe slowly see what else can happen in the skin. So you'll be seeing uh, dandruff, you'll be seeing uh, hair fall, you can see eruptions on the scalp. More important is, is psoriasis. Psoriasis of scalp. Then, psoriasis of scalp, very important. Okay. And going down from head, if you, you can also have headaches. Headaches which comes from fasting. Headaches which comes from fasting. And headache better by eating. Headache better by eating. Okay. Hmm? So, going down, what you see is eyes. What do you expect in eyes? See, when you talk of eyes or when you talk of any other organ in uh, this particular remedy, we are not worried about the organ, eye. But then there are things that can happen in, in petroleum that is mainly the eyelids, blepharitis. Okay? Or what is this called? This part, assuming this to be the... You know, I mean, this has gone little up, no? Okay, anyway, let's not look at this. But, you know, here, the kante, the inner kante, the inner kante. So, this can be cracked. The inner kante can be cracked. On the lids, there can be inflammation. And that inflammation is what we call it as blepharitis. Blepharitis. So, blepharitis, cracks, all can be mentioned under skin. Similarly, when you look at the ear, what do you expect in ear? Eruptions. eruptions behind the ear. Dry eruptions behind the ear. There can be hardness of hearing. There can be hardness of hearing. So mainly eruptions behind ears. Similarly, when you look at the nose, there can be nostrils which are cracked. Cracked nostrils. Cracked nostrils. See, this is where many of them use petroleum gel, you know for all those cracks, nose, and I am coming to the next part, important part, the lips. The lips again in petroleum can be cracked, dry, cracked lips, dry, cracked lips. When, and especially in petroleum you see this dryness and cracks in, in winter, this season in Bangalore now. So we see more of uh, cracks, dryness in winter, and that's when you put all this Vaseline, petroleum, jelly. Okay. So, uh, cracks, dryness, very important. Cracks and dryness. Okay. Mouth, nothing much, but what I want to highlight here is, uh, you can have bad breath. You can have bad breath. So, deep inside, when you look at, uh, when you look at the, you know, stomach, when you look at the stomach, what you also have here is that, don't be very particular about the anatomical uh, diagrams, okay? but I want you to understand. When you look at the stomach, what do you have in, uh, in petroleum? Okay, more than ulcers, gastalgia. Say diarrhea will happen in the lower door. We are talking of uh, 
uh, stomach, you will have mainly gastritis, gastralgia, gastritis. Increased hunger, increased hunger. They get up at night and eat. Increased hunger, they get up in the midnight and they have to eat. Other remedies? Increased hunger, this is how it is given in the books, material. Increased hunger gets up in the midnight and they eat. Which are the other remedies? Huh? Very good, beautiful, good. Sorena, good. Sorena, one the Sorena. Okay? Uh, when you are told Sorena, which is a final year uh, topic, you can also think of some third year remedies, second year remedies. China, China, Sincona, Phosphorus. Hmm? China, Phosphorus, Sorena. Of course, petroleum. They get up in night and they eat. Hunger, increased hunger. Gets up at night and eat. Gastralgia, better by eating. In brackets? In brackets? Anacardia. In brackets? Anacardia. Yeah. If you are looking at the uh, condition, yes, it is duodenal ulcer. So, uh, when you look at the clinical part, Petroleum can be a very good remedy for uh, duodenal ulcer. Okay. So, what is it that we are trying to understand and under stomach is they have uh, gastritis, they have gastralgia, gastralgia better by eating and increase hunger to the extent they get up in the midnight and then they start eating. They start eating. In brackets, China, phosphorus, sorana. Sorana. Okay. And when you look at the desires, they have desire for delicious things. What do you mean by this? See, uh, uh, dying teeth is what it is mentioned in English. When you cross check in your repertory, it gives uh, to a cross reference which means food delicious, tasty, something which is not uh, normal, something which is special. Those kind of food is what petroleum likes. They have aversion to meat. They have aversion to fat. Aversion to meat and aversion to fat. But like, likes delicious food. Okay, likes delicious food. Okay. See, if you look at the rectum, now many of you were in a hurry to talk about uh, diarrhea. Now, if you look at uh, the rectum, you have something called as uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea, dysentery. Diarrhea, dysentery. Now, what could be the causative factors? In, there are two things we have already mentioned here. Suppressed eruption and cabbage will give rise to diarrhea. Any other remedies for diarrhea? Very good, Alas. Cotton tea, good. Codophyllum, beautiful. Huh? Very good, urgent. See, feel free. Urgent or nitricum, good. Natrium salt, absolutely right. Chamomilla, beautiful. Benzoic acid, yes. Kali? Kali? No issues, Kali Kar. Natsonica. Sulfur. Any other remedies you know? You know, the beauty is all these remedies that you have mentioned are very apt for diarrhea. I know, you did not just fake. You gave a pause, you thought about it and then came up with answers. Good job. Starting from Argentum. You want me to compare or you are okay? Argentum? One word of Argentum is anticipation. Not necessary exams. Exam is one common example for anticipation. Not only exams. Your girlfriend gives you a deadline. At 3 o'clock I will tell you if I love you or not. So if you are Argentum, what will happen? From morning, from previous night, you will be thinking, will she agree my proposal or will she reject my proposal? When you start thinking what will happen to your abdomen, uh, the intestines, guru 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 guru. And uh, that anticipation, that anticipation will drive. And uh, Shivu is telling, sir, everybody, this situation will not happen to everybody. Correct. Only if you are Argentine it will happen. Why? Okay. 
So every one second, one second, relax. Every constitution they have a different way of reacting. Okay, fine. If you know, it could be the girl also the other side. The boy, the flamboyant, you know, the uh, handsome boy, he might give a deadline. You know, three o'clock. Ah, I'll tell you three o'clock. We'll see. Tomorrow, kal kal batao. But then, if she is urgent, then she can go through the same thing. So urgent, then remember, it is anticipation. Okay, what might happen? What might happen is what brings on the idea. Exams. See what Dr. Kent says beautifully. Before going to church, huh? correct now. If you read uh, Kent's from, uh, I mean, sorry, if you read Argentum from Kent's, I know it not make a difference for you, but for me it make a difference. <laughs> if you read Argentum from Kent's, fine. Then you read the Materia Medica. He beautifully says, before an engagement, engagement is not this, not necessarily this. Any engagement, meaning I have a work at four o'clock. Fine, I have to meet somebody. I have to go to church at 10 o'clock. I have to go to mosque at this time, temple at this time. No issues. But what is important is that is the anticipation which brings on diarrhea. And the diarrhea in Argentina is mainly nervous and and and. Now what I am trying to tell you now is what nervous diarrhea. It is an emotional diarrhea. You are worried, then you are rushing to stool. Is this the only cause for diarrhea? What is the other cause? What is the other cause? Sweets. So that is what we call it as gastric diarrhea. Good gastric diarrhea. And the gastric diarrhea, the cause in Argentum will be sweets. Okay. The nervous diarrhea in Argentum will be watery. The gastric diarrhea in Argentum will be greenish, like chopped spinach. See, this is the kind of clarity you have to have. And you know, you now know why we fail because of this not being clear with things. Okay, Argentum is a beautiful remedy. Done. There is a lot of anticipation. How is it in sulphur? Very good. Morning diarrhea. Beautiful. Right word. Can somebody add another symptom of uh, morning diarrhea? Wakes the person. Or the moment he gets up. As soon as he gets up. See, you get up at six o'clock, okay? Because as class, I have to come from far. Six, you get up. You have to rest. Sunday, ten o'clock, you get up. If you are self at ten o'clock, you have to rest. This is the variation. The moment he gets up, okay? Then any other remedies? You are talking about aloes. How is it in aloes? Huh? Where confidence? Very good. Yeah, good. What is it? See. Uh, how you sit in a clinic, no confidence on? No. How do you apply this in a clinical practice? See what I am trying to tell you. I again repeat, this system is a beautiful system. Unless and until you understand this system properly, will not be successful. Uh, when some girl told, sir, lack of confidence. Absolutely right. But what is that lack of confidence? Where is that lack of confidence? Sprinter. So what you need to understand is, aloes patient, his concentration will be on the sprinter. Right? He has to hold it. So, for example, if he loosen this, there will be escape of stools. So his focus is always on the sprinter. In a, you know from the physiology, what is this? Voluntary, involuntary. Voluntary. It is under our control. But this control in aloes, he will be losing. That is what we say. One half confidence over sphincter in it. Though it is a voluntary act, you feel in aloes, it may just go away. And very embarrassing in aloes is, aloes is, aloes is. He feels his passing uh, gas. Remember, he feels his passing flutters. Stools will escape. You know the seriousness. I hope you understand. So that is the control that is losing in aloes. You're getting it. See why I'm bringing in this comparison here is many times we have this complaint, especially boys, sir. All remedies will have diarrhea, sir. Fine. That is not the excuse. And you should know 
every remedy has its own character when it comes to diarrhea. Hmm? Aloes, hunger during stool. I missed a point here in petroleum, hunger after stool. We will discuss under the rectum. They pass stools and once they come back from the washroom, they feel hungry. They feel hungry. Now, in Ferrum, after vomiting, the other opening. We are talking of the other opening. No, no issues. For comparison, it is nice. So what will happen in Ferrum? They are sitting on the table. They eat. They have nausea. They have vomiting. They go vomit. And they come back and then they eat. This is the situation in Ferrum. We are talking of diarrhea. After diarrhea, hunger. See, these are all the quick cure symptoms. Patient will give you in your clinic and we miss and we blame. Blame homeopathy. Very wrong. Okay? So, uh, diarrhea, dysentery, what is it that I was trying to tell you in uh, petroleum? Diarrhea, dysentery, which mainly comes from suppressed eruptions, cabbages. Cabbages. And diarrhea, daytime. This is very, very, very important. Sulfur you told early morning. Okay? Argentum you told after anticipation. Aloes you told, sir, there is no control over sphincter A9. What is special in petroleum? Petroleum, diarrhea only daytime. Clear? This is very, very important. Diarrhea daytime and after diarrhea, hunger. Again, characteristic. Okay, diarrhea after cabbage. Small. This can be a three mark question. This can be a viva question. Okay. So going down, what you also see is they can have uh, fissures here. They can have itching in the anus. Okay. And eruptions over the genitalia. Eruptions over female genitalia or eruptions over male genitalia. Okay. When you look at the extremities, now related to skin. What else can you expect in uh, petroleum? Very good, cracks. Where do you see cracks? Cracks over fingertips. Cracks over fingertips. Cracks which are deep. Cracks which bleed. Okay? So cracks over fingertips. Fine. Or cracks over the soles. Soles, soles. Heels. Cracked heel. Deep cracks. Uh, bleeding cracks. All those things are possible in petroleum. And when you look at the eruptions, eruptions which are herpetic eruptions, we already discussed herpetic eruptions, eruptions which burn, eruptions which itch, and psoriasis. And psoriasis. Okay? So, skin of petroleum, because it's a theory question for 5 marks, you start with head. You are focusing on dandruff, hair fall, eruptions on scalp, psoriasis, four things. And then we spoke of uh, blepharitis, the canthae, getting cracked, eruptions behind the ear, and you have cracked nostrils, bad breath from the mouth, dry and cracked lips. So just go down and what you also see is you see tips of the fingers cracked, Itching, bleeding, same occurs to the source, heel. And in general, you can have uh, herpetic eruptions which can burn, which can itch, or a very good remedy for psoriasis. Psoriasis, aggravation, winter. You know, which is a common symptom, but it is there in petroleum. Psoriasis, aggravation, winter. One more symptom we missed under uh, J. What is that we missed? Huh? What is that we missed in GA? What is that we missed? Huh? We missed motion sickness. We missed motion sickness. Vomiting. Vomiting, nausea. Okay. Riding in carriage, riding in train. Sea sickness. Okay. So that's a very important thing in Patola. That's a very important thing. Okay. So to conclude, what we have in petroleum is uh, clinically it has got a lot of mental symptoms okay? and uh, physically or particular symptoms when you talk of 
uh, gastric headaches, duodenal ulcers, cracks, psoriasis, diarrhea, sea sickness, okay, uh, motion sickness. These are few things where one can think of uh, petrol. Hmm? Okay. So any quick questions in petrol? Any questions? Okay. So with this, we'll be completing the carbon series. Okay. So next class, uh, hopefully, I'll try to take up sepia. In one three hours class, we'll try to finish sepia. And I have uh, alumina, two remedies. By next week, sometime, I'll just try to finish the syllabus. So that you are free and you can focus on your uh, exams. Okay? By petroleum, clear? So if you are only worried about theory for time being, it will be skin. But I always feel you should think beyond. And when you think beyond, the mind of petroleum is also very, very important. Okay? So thank you.